Now, I don't, I don't care where you come from. I don't care. <laughs> Every society wants its men and women to be great and upright. But, but if you cannot be upright, at least, at least, be great in your criminality. Don't be a lousy criminal, you know, especially if you say that you are smart and very intelligent. <laughs> like this one. I went to an Ivy League college. Uh, I was a nice student. I did very well. Uh, I'm a very intelligent person. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I like, I like, I like smooth criminals. <laughs> Don't be a lousy criminal, especially if you call yourself a jagaban, <laughs> like this one. I see all the tattoo of Ashu and Young Lagos. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm still a jagaban. <laughs> Ooh, don't, don't, you know, don't disappoint us. That is all we ask for. That's it, that's it. <laughs> and this request extends to presidents, not just ordinary people, presidents. Now, to those of you who grew up in the 90s, an American president once found himself in trouble. Hey, the news was that he was playing some adult games under the table in the Oval Office with a White House intern. Can you imagine that? <laughs> those are the good old days. Here is his immediate reaction once the news broke. Watch him. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. <laughs> I did not. I did not. <laughs> now, now, now. <laughs> that is how you do it. Emphasize that you have to go back and do the work of the American people. <laughs> the, man, the man did not hide in the White House. He came out and said it and continued to do the work of the American people. Every day you see him going to work, doing something, making speeches. <laughs> but when more shoes started dropping and the pressure became too much, he came out and said this. Watch him. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. <laughs> yes, indeed. I did. <laughs> indeed. I did. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> now, now, that is how you do it. What, what happened to the man? Do you remember? Because, because he lied on that oath, the House of Representatives impeached him. But, but the Senate, you know the Senate, they are smart. <laughs> they did not remove him from office. He also lost his uh, law license, so he stopped practicing law. Just like uh, Femi Baja Bia Miller. <laughs> now, now, if you are too young to remember Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky, at least, at least you can still remember the 45th president of the United States of America and all the different territories, the great Donald J. Trump. Yes, you should remember him. He's still around, you know. When a New York court found his company guilty of forging business records <laughs> to inflate uh, its value. He did not go inside one of his mansions to cry like a baby. No, he came out swinging. Watch him. We have a clause in the contract. It's like a buyer beware clause. It says when you take a look at the financial statement, don't believe anything you read. This is up front. Don't believe anything you read. Some <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn. I'm sure that Bolatinubu is scratching his head now. <laughs> if his hand can reach his head where he is. I'm wondering why, why didn't I write such a clause behind my certificate from Chicago State University? Why did, just, just write it behind it. That is how you want your criminals to behave. <laughs> but you know, Nigerians are a very unlucky set of people. We are. Apart from the great Anini of uh, Edo State, all of our criminals are just too wimpy for my liking. <laughs> yes, including a mafia like yes. <laughs> what, what do you think will happen if Bolatinubu calls a world press conference? They do that every day in Nigeria now. And says to, in front of all the cameras, he says to Nigerians, look, folks. 
at the back of he will use that American accent. Look, folks, at the back of the certificate that I gave Einek, I wrote in my own handwriting that this certificate is just for play. I was not smoking Igbo when I wrote it. Please, please check the Chicago State. Check with them before you claim that I graduated from that fine institution of higher learning. Chikina. Imagine if he says something like that and show us the original of that diploma with his handwriting on the back. Imagine if to support his position, he parades in front of the camera, the men and the fine men and women who helped him to forge that certificate. One by one, they will raise their hands and say whose signature that they signed. Case closed. That's it. Everyone will be like, wow. The guy is smart. <laughs> but will Tinubu do so? We will tell you when we come back. <laughs>